We've been um, toying with the idea of doing something a little bit different than the standard Instagram written post. So uh, we thought we'd do a small video and talk about this rather special little car we've done for, uh, for actually for a special customer of ours. Um, he is uh, the military's most successful Paralympian actually, uh, and a chap who lost his arm serving in Iraq. Um, and because of that, we had to try and do, uh, uh, make a few modifications to this car that would suit him, suit his driving style, and suit what he was looking for, for from a car. Um, something he could use every day, but something that would also be a little bit track focused for him and uh, and he wanted uh, a Flappy paddle gearbox, but of course having a prosthetic on his left arm He needed um, he needed all of the controls to be on the right side of the car only and We tried to do something pretty special and different with the suspension too So this is this is a Japanese import that the customer found himself um, It's a C2S and, and fairly rare because it has no sunroof uh, and uh, and it's a Tiptronic box the first thing we looked at and one of the most important considerations was weight loss. Um, and I think because John Allen is very conscious of being a cyclist, he's very conscious of, of any extra weight and carrying extra weight. So we had a target of about 100 kilograms to try and take off this car. We're at 91.3 kilograms so far, so pretty close. And, uh, and the temptation is to try and lose some of the mod cons. But actually in that, we still have the full air con, we still have uh, a Bluetooth radio. Um, we still have uh, the fancy suspension and in fact we've even having redone some of the interior work we've managed to put a bed in the back there for his pooch. The uh, suspension is tractive it's the active suspension setup where we've mounted um, a g-sensor in the middle of the car and uh, that g-sensor then detects any movement and uh, and then adjusts accordingly so it has um, and it'll adjust and uh, within six milliseconds so one one hundredth of a second and will then stiffen up if there's any pitch and roll, etc. The other thing we did was, um, was to modify the steering box on the column, put a new steering wheel in there, so it's a Momo Prototipo steering wheel. We've modified that and uh, put a shift tech, single, single operation shifter on, so he can operate everything from his right hand. So shifting down by pushing forward and shifting up by pulling back, and it works really nicely. Um, a few little other things, like I said, the mod cons, we put one of the new Bremen uh, Blarpunt radios in there, so he, he's got everything, and, uh, and then just deleted a lot of weight and a few styling cues, most of which came from the customer as well. Big thing being these D90s, we kept the wheels, but um, painted the, uh, the center sort of an old black, and uh, it just makes it a little bit more contemporary, looks a little bit cooler. Uh, and then Took the cat out, so the cat has been has been minused, and um, and that loses some weight. And also used a G cup pipe, so the G cup pipe takes away the second baffle. So it sounds really good, and uh, and should hopefully perform pretty nicely and well for the customer. So what we've done with this car, and going into a little bit more detail, um, we have uh, changed up the door cards and taken some weight out by removing the door pockets, but still kept some of the trim and still kept some of the uh, the detail. Uh, as per, I suppose, halfway between an RS and what a stock car would be. Um, the seats have been replaced, some of the heavy mats, uh, the heavy soundproofing, the, the stock OEM soundproofing in the back has been removed, and um, we put in some more modern stuff, uh, some of the, uh, the soundproofing that, um, that is lighter and actually performs better. Now, normally with a tractive suspension setup, and in this case, we put the G sensor in the middle here, uh, just behind the handbrake, and had to modify some of the interior with that, but normally it would have a screen. Um, in the case of John Allen uh, and, and access problems with the screen like that, um, it's been modified and using the same setup that Roof use on their Porsches, this has an adjuster switch which we've mounted underneath the, uh, the steering column which he can access then with his right hand. And importantly as well, this is the shifter. So putting it into Tiptronic mode, we um, can shift up by pulling back on the lever and shift down by a nice positive push forward on the, on the lever. Um, new head unit, so we still have fantastic Bremen and the SQR4 and, uh, and some new speakers. So based on what uh, John decided to do with the exhaust pipes, um, with the CAT and with the G-pipe and uh, the work that we've managed to do there, I think, um, I think we should try and give it a little listen to.
So I hope we've been able to show off this cool little car well enough on this uh, this little video and um, check it out.